CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford. Jack, good to have you with us for this. So you listen to you listen to the congressman's comments. Uh, he says it's a little bit of mischief. It started out though with a lot, of, you know, very different words. First he said it was a hack. Now it's a prank, maybe a hoax. I mean, is it the kind of thing if he's hiring lawyers to look into what happened? Should he have gone to authorities? Well, it, it, there are a couple of questions here. Uh, the first one is, well, what if this in fact happened? All right, and it's a big if. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, what sort of consequences could there be? Are you looking at some criminal charges? The, the short answer to that is, is probably not, because you know there are laws against sending out pornography on your accounts. People will look at this and say, this, this might be really distasteful. But it's not pornographic. Right. You know, the young lady, if she felt that she was being harassed in some fashion, but she hasn't expressed that, and you might say one instance of something like this wouldn't rise to that level either. So I don't think you're really talking about possible criminal activity there. But I think the important part of your question is, you know, why not bring in authorities? And, and here is the answer. If I'm a lawyer and I'm representing a politician in general, it's not against the law to lie to the media, not against the law to lie to your constituents, it is against the law to lie to law enforcement authorities. You know, Martha Stewart went to jail not for insider trading, for lying. Barry Bonds gets charged, goes to trial, not for using steroids, for lying about it. So if I'm a lawyer looking at a case such as this, I'm going to be real careful before I let my client talk to law enforcement authorities because I don't want to find my client you know, jammed up here criminally because Despite what happened here, they're not telling the truth to law enforcement people. Is this something, though, that, that could ultimately escalate into maybe an investigation by an ethics committee. Well, that's where I think you might see something happen here, Eric. I don't think you're going to see law enforcement get involved in it for, for a whole lot of reasons. But Congress has the ability to investigate its own. And they have the capacity to censure somebody, to suspend somebody, even to remove somebody if they find there is conduct unbecoming a representative, a member of Congress. They, I mean, that, those, those standards are pretty elastic. Right. But certainly they have the ability to take a look at it. Okay, only a yes or no because i got to wrap. But right. no laws, it appears, have been broken. It doesn't look like any of that would be prosecuted. Okay, sounds good. Jack, thanks. All right, Eric.